Megazorb is a horse bedding. It is made from wood pulp. It is a really absorbent bedding, very, very highly absorbent. So it scores well there. And the only problem is it is quite dusty. It costs about seven pound per bag. And you can see you get a really large amount in these bags. So I feel that's quite a good deal. So here's when it looks like it's kind of like a grey brown colour so it's a little bit dull. It also has quite a strange aroma um, so yeah but apart from that it's really good. Personally I have found that Megazorb is really good for litter trays, for guinea pigs and rabbits. It also works with smaller animals but because it is so dusty I feel it's not the most suitable as they are very small creatures and it could be harming their respiratory systems. So I kind of avoid it for the smaller animals but for my bigger animals like the guinea pigs and rabbits I like to use it in the litter trays. Next up we have Orbeos which is another great horse bedding and this is made from 100% hemp. Hemp and Orbeos normally retails about seven to eight pounds, so it's fairly affordable. Orbeos has a very low dust content, so it's really, really good for small animals, and it means that they're not breathing in all that harmful dust all the time. Especially for very small animals like hamsters and gerbils because they like to dig and then you know when they're digging they won't inhale all of this dust. So it is a really suitable bedding. As you can see it's quite a woody look so it's really natural and nice to look at and it actually has a really nice fresh smell so it's probably one of my favourites for the look and the scent. On the other hand it is not the most absorbent bedding but it's actually really good if you have an outdoor aviary for example with rabbits and guinea pigs. Because if you have soil as the base of your outdoor enclosure you can do a really nice layer of this Orbeos and when it rains it will soak through the Orbeos and soak into the soil so it will remain dry. It is good from the sense that it will keep your rabbits and guinea pigs dry. If they're urinating a lot then they will be sat on clean bedding so it is good for that but from a cleaning point of view in like a hutch or a cage or whatever it is not really the easiest to clean up. Next bedding is fleece. This is something I am relatively new to. But it has been very cost effective. I've saved so much money. There is zero dust, so it's really healthy for their respiratory systems. It doesn't cause any problems there. You have to make sure that when you wash it, you use something which is very natural, otherwise it could be harmful to them and you know, therefore cause other issues. It is very natural and you know better for them than many on the market containing various perfumes and scents you want it to be scentless and just plain so that's an important thing to know before you try it out in terms of maintenance i would say it is more high maintenance there is a lot more sweeping brushing off the hairs i generally use this little mitt thing which has these rubber things on it so it's really good at getting the hairs off but it is time consuming. So fleece is really good for rabbits and guinea pigs but I prefer to use it alongside litter trays just because it you know saves on having to wash quite as often but you can't really just take a fleece and use that on its own. You really need to line the base with towels because this is going to act as an absorbent layer. There are many other alternatives to using towels. This is what I personally find is more cost effective and you know a lot easier for me so I just line the whole of their enclosure with these towels the initial cost of fleece is very expensive but the thing is you don't have to keep buying it once you've got it if you have like a few spares then that's all you're gonna have to buy so it does save you a lot of money and of course you have to pay for your washing liquid but the thing is it's going to eventually you know save you money once you make back what you have spent on all the fleece these are really good at soaking up the moisture and they have been really really good alternatively you can just put vet bed mats on top of the fleece so rather than having to wash up the whole fleece more often you can just put these in the areas where they will urinate the most and then remove them and wash them as needed and keep replacing them so that is quite a good option I find this works better if you only have a few guinea pigs with a big herd of them. It doesn't really act as effective because of the amount of pee they do. So I found these haven't been so good with my herd but have worked very well for the guinea pigs indoors. A lot of people also like to use little huts and things to keep their guinea pigs warm or just as a little nice hidey area. So there's many options when it comes to fleece and I do think overall it is a good bedding. 
next bedding I'm going to be talking about is wood shavings. Wood shavings is probably the most widespread bedding used for small pets, probably the most popular as well. It's becoming decreasingly popular though due to new studies that have been done to show the potential harmful effects. It's obviously sawdust which is generally associated with wood shavings is completely unsuitable, it's far too dusty and should never be used. Then we have wood shavings which are quite different. This brand of wood shavings in particular it has been dust extracted but does this really make it any better? Well we know for sure that pine and cedar bedding is completely unsafe and should be avoided altogether. There have been many studies to show that it can promote respiratory problems, just problems related to breathing, it can cause skin problems, it can cause foot problems, it is basically known for taking the oils out of your skin so you can imagine what it would be doing to a guinea pig's feet or a rabbit's feet so I I remember when I used to use wood shavings and I would be cleaning them out if I didn't have any gloves on it would make my hands extremely dry so Imagine walking on this 24-7, what it would be like for them. It can also cause eye-related problems. It is, however, very absorbent and I found when I used it, I didn't really have any problems with it, but I decided to move to a safer option. It does have a really nice aroma and it's very fresh and nice smelling. It's often what they use in the pet shop, so the animals stay nice and fresh and nice smelling. But imagine inhaling this 24-7 and you know what that would be like. I'm just going to do a little experiment to show you guys what I mean. Guinea pigs especially like to rootle around in bedding so their noses will be definitely you know going quite close to the bedding so I'm going to be opening this up and seeing how long I can tolerate the smell and just what my thoughts are. I have to say I can already smell it before I even open the packet that's how strong it is and this is a fully sealed packet right okay it's already making me feel dizzy <laughs> so that is really really strong i don't think i could really take that much longer because it's making me feel a bit but um yeah i would avoid this just for the health reasons for your pet whether you have rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils or anything else I would not recommend using wood shavings there's so many other better alternatives I know you can get this in bales from horse suppliers for about £5 so it is very cheap bedding but it's worth paying just a little bit extra to make sure your pets are going to be staying healthy have straw now straw has a very bad reputation personally I think it is a lot better than people say it is and I feel like there should be more of a bad reputation on wood shavings as opposed to straw now straw is definitely not suitable as a substrate on its own so you would need like a layer of for example megasorb underneath and then pile the straw on top and this is going to keep your guinea pigs really nice and warm or your rabbits really nice and warm if you have them outdoors and I choose to use barley straw because it is a lot softer so it's a really good insulator they sometimes like to gnaw on it as a bit of roughage and um, it's a nice looking natural bedding has a low amount of dust in it I don't think there is even any dust in this people say it can cause eye problems I've never had any eye related issues using straw in fact I've only ever had issues with the hay I think this is a lot better than people give it credit for it does have its uses but must be used alongside another bedding So another bedding which has been around for many years is hay. People like to use newspaper and then pile on top hay. The hay gets very, very smelly very quickly. It's really unpleasant odour and it means you have to, you know, dispose of a lot of hay. I think it's quite a waste to be honest. And, you know, hay is obviously a good part of their diet. It's really important and everything like that. But as a substrate, I don't really think it's suitable. I mean, you can have hay piles on top of something like Megazorb or hemp or whatever you're using. But to have just hay on top of newspaper, it's not going to be absorbent. And your guinea pigs are probably going to be sitting in wet patches here and there. So it's not really the best thing to use. Obviously, you do need hay for your guinea pigs and rabbits. 
Um, it's also really great for nest material with gerbils and hamsters, so it does have its uses. Obviously there are various types of bedding out there on the market which are also suitable such as Fitch and Finicard. You can also use a bedding like sh really fine shredded paper. These all work quite well but I have not used them so I think it would be unfair to review them. So hopefully you've found this video helpful if you are deciding what to use. Um, maybe it helps you look into safer alternatives or better alternatives for the pet that you have. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Look where Piper is that. It's so funny, she looks like a person sat on this chair. <laughs> oh.